Hey guys, I trust that you are having a good day. In today's audio, this non-native English speaker, I don't know from which country, is asking a real deep question, which I think everyone has. Please listen to it with full attention and grasp it. It may take a few times to understand, but you can do it. Using headphones and earphones will enhance your pleasure. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. My question basically is, I am in the right path. <laughs> Profoundly. 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 With these things or this knowledge that I have received, I have the understanding of the oneness, uh, understanding the, by, the body, the mind, and the spirit. And what I am experiencing now is the alignment, find me my alignment with the happiness of helping others to find the alignment. Yes. And this is what I think that what I have to share. We agree with you. It's interesting, isn't it? How in whatever way you do it, you get in that place where you start receiving and then you want to teach others how to do that. But they're not necessarily standing where you're standing. And so they're hearing words, but as you demonstrate through the clarity of your example and as you continue to know what you know and not deviate from it and as you don't let anyone talk you out of what you know so that you stand in the non-diluted non-restricted non-compromised vibration of clarity of that those who are ready for you will find their way to you law of attraction makes it so so don't go looking hard for them because when you look hard for them you find the ones that aren't ready for you when you let them come to you they're ready and then you'll all have a really good time yeah. 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 don't turn your attention to the things that are uncomfortable and they have to go away your attention to them is what holds them there if you've got some resistance and you're not aware of it don't worry it will become more acute and if you're still unaware of it it will become more because the vibrations that you're offering are the vibration of your source is calling more to it and the vibration of where you are is calling more to it so the tug of war gets stronger and stronger and stronger mm -hmm. so anything that is uncomfortable or unpleasant take your attention away from it as best you can mm -hmm. if we could convince you all of you that if you hadn't given birth to a desire that you are denying you would feel no pain if you hadn't given birth to something that you were denying there would be no resistance within you mm. so pain is evidence of desire that you're resisting mm. so if you could embrace it accept it as a good thing not a bad thing you'd go a long way that's really the path of least resistance in other words did you feel some resistance release just in the idea that pain only exists because there is desire that you are denying don't you like knowing that mm -hmm. if you hadn't launched a rocket of desire again and 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 if the source within you was not standing in the knowledge in the beingness of all of that then you're denying it couldn't happen if source wasn't standing there so the very pain you feel whether it's emotional pain or physical pain the very pain you feel every single time is an indication of the greater part of you standing in a place that right now you're not letting yourself stand mm -hmm. so revel in where the greater part of you is standing and it dissipates but comparing yourself to where the inner being part of you stands mm -hmm. that's your painful place we've been talking a lot about that today even as we were talking about the steps there's this belief that you've picked up along your physical trail that goes something like I've got to be where I am and I've got to admit why I'm here and I've got to explain how I got here and I've got to explain how long I've been here and I got to compare myself to everybody else and where they are and we say blah 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 you've missed the whole point none of that is what you intended you see take it from Esther when she's driving you only ever feel like you're going too fast if there's somebody in your way <laughs> and you're the only one who can ever be in your way 
when you have something that you're experiencing in the moment there is this desire or sometimes need to explain how you got there and if you could give that up it would really serve you you're looking for some big reason for something and there's not a big reason it was that you didn't like the way that person drove and you don't really like what that person's wearing and you didn't like the way that person treated you and you didn't like what this person said to you and you didn't like this thought that you had and you didn't like that memory that you had in other words it's a whole bunch of little trashy pieces that it's just like throwing a little resistance on your trail and after a while you start tripping over it but you don't pay any attention until you trip over it and then you want to talk about what you're tripping over and we're saying it's a pile you're tripping over a pile that had a lot of little pieces in it mm -hmm. and if you'll stop throwing the little pieces on the trail they'll stop being a pile that you trip over but humans just want to talk about the pile well let's assign a name to the pile let's give it a diagnosis or let's give it a person that's doing me wrong you get what we're talking about it's just all the little pieces that you've been throwing on all day every day and they weren't big so you didn't feel them very strong so you just kept throwing them on until they piled up and after they piled up then you tripped over them then you noticed them you see yeah yeah our friend was talking earlier about clearing the path or cleaning it up or clarifying and we've talked about things like that through the years but today what we want to say is rather than worrying about cleaning it up just don't continue to add to the pile because if you stop adding to the pile it will dissipate because it's a fresh pile every day you're not bringing it it went away while you slept it went away while you slept you recreate it every day you go to work stuff on the trail watch television stuff on the trail watch that movie that terrified you stuff all over the trail something in the movie reminded you of love gone bad stuff on the trail then you trip over it and you say oh what is the meaning of this pile of crap thank you yeah I can see the attachment yeah. we say the meaning of it is that you build it up one little negative thought at a time one conversation at a time you just build it up and made a great big old pile and then you tripped over it and now you want what's the meaning of this <laughs> the meaning of it is don't keep doing it Let it is it our promise to you that as you do less and less and less of that throwing stuff mm -hmm. on your path of least resistance mm -hmm. in time you will have a clear path mostly clear path and there'll be enough momentum that even though you're going to continue to throw stuff there because life is causing you to have new experiences your momentum will be enough that you can overcome it in other words you're going fast enough Esther knows this too you can go through about any pile <laughs> get enough speed and momentum girth she loved the monster bus for that reason she knew she could run over anybody that was in her way <laughs> and they all Sweet seemed track. to know it too mm -hmm. she'd look in her rearview mirror as she was entering and they just cleared a path for her they knew mm -hmm. she was big she was going fast and they better get out of the way jumping off the road yeah so what's the path of least resistance for you could it mean that there are things that you can't see that are affecting your experience could it mean that the infrastructure of that which you are could it mean that there are things in motion that you maybe are not perceiving could it mean that you have attracted assistance and help that you are denying yourself the ability to see could it mean your timings off in other words there are a lot of things that it could mean but there is so much in your physical environment there is so much non-physical intertwining with that which is you that we could not if we spent the rest of your life just explaining to you the details in which non-physical is intertwining with you we could not really explain it all in the fullness of that which we know so we'll do it in general terms by saying to you that you are extensions of source energy and that as you stand at this focal point that's really the best way of describing where you stand in your physicality right now you are a focal point you are a focal point of all your own hopes and dreams and wishes but more than that you are the focal point of sources agreement about that expansion that you have given birth to that you have not in all cases allowed yourself to be the fulfillment not quite yet of you are the focal point you are the focal point of the energy that creates worlds 
you are the focal point of non-physical awareness and assistance and help you are the focal point of all kinds of cooperative components coming into place you are the focal point of so much more than you allow yourself to realize because you are using other things as your focal point you're focused upon why your foot hurts or why this or why that went wrong and so you hold yourself apart from the realization there are two words that Esther keeps finding and we've been refining with her the difference between the two words because often as we offer a block of thought and she's translating it into something that will be meaningful for you she wants to find the word it will be revealed and then we offer clarification to her by saying it's always being revealed it's always being revealed it's always being revealed it's always being revealed because it's being revealed because we are focusing upon it that's the revelation it's always being revealed but unless you're in the vibrational vicinity you don't find the reception of it so revelation and realization are two different things the revelation is always happening the realization is the work that you are about you got to get yourself in the place that you are realizing how tied together we all are and then you begin to see what those not well connected want to call magic they want to call coincidence they want to call freak and we say it's the natural unfolding of the way you are all meant to live since you are the leading edge reason for expansion of this universe and you are the focal point of all that non-physical sees these are good times not just for you but for us as well and when you relax into that knowing first you're swept with a feeling of worthiness and then next from that infrastructure of worthiness then you allow yourself to be the translator the manifester the full life liver for all to see the benefits of your own acceptance of your goodness your rightness your worthiness we've enjoyed this interaction more than we can explain with words and while we have been playing together we have been expressing it to you with more than words we've been expressing it to you vibrationally you heard a lot with your ears and you came to a lot of conclusions with your mind but you are vibrationally different than you were when you first arrived you're vibrationally different you are vibrationally much more on the wavelength of who you really are that means everything in your world has changed as a result of the vibrational shifting that has taken place your well-being will be more pronounced your guidance system will be more vivid to you your realization of the details of your life will be more delicious to you we've experienced today a major piece of what our friend earlier called awakening reawakening there is great love here for you and as always we remain joyously in your vortex